أسعد الله أوقاتكم مشاهدين الكرام وأهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقة جديدة مع برنامج رواد الأعمال كما عودناكم في كل حلقة أن نستضيف رجل أعمال معنا اليوم مستر محمد سلمان The owner, founder and the chief mate of Metaso Hello Mr. Muhammad Hello First of all, thank you for being with us in our program and we are curious to know more about you and about Metaso Thank you very much for having me My name is Muhammad Salman. I'm the chief mate for Metaso It's a trusted transfer, digital transformation solution providing company We have a few projects in fintech and metaverse We are powered by the blockchain and AI So I'm here in this space for the last seven years, uh, one of the top 100 blockchain practitioners in the world. And they've been coming up with the solutions, advisory services, and coming for the value of the small and medium-sized businesses. Wonderful. Mr. Muhammad, would you please give us more details about the projects that you mentioned? Yes, I'll highlight InvoiceMate and Desiverse. Uh, InvoiceMate is the fintech which is solving the problems for the small and medium sized enterprises by enabling them to get credit worthy. Banks have a challenge that they don't get the vetted or qualified SMEs to lend them and at the same time SMEs have challenge that they are finding it very difficult to get credit ready. So with InvoiceMate it's a software which enables them to bring their short cash flow data and take it to the banks for the invoice lending, for the working capital finance. So it's a very simple solution, which is solving a big pair of problems of banks and businesses. In short, we are serving as a bridge between the SMEs and the banks. Wonderful. So Mr. Mohammed, about this app, when it will be released for the people and what will make it special among all the applications and brokers who's doing this in the market? So we started InvoiceMate a couple of years back as invoice management system powered by blockchain and AI. We are still uh, the only one doing that. But for last three quarters, we have started adding up the fintech layer in it. So we are launching in Pakistan and UAE starting June, and it will be serving the SME sector of both countries following up after the other MENA region uh, countries. So the aim is to be global come up as embedded invoice financing solution hub, but at the same time, we need to start small and scale. So we are starting with the two countries, UAE and Pakistan for now. Wonderful. So let's move to the other project. Yeah, for Desiverse, it is the fidgetical environment. Metaverse, everyone knows. So there are different types of Metaverse. We are coming up with the utility-based Metaverse, but this is again a big thing that we are not chasing Metaverse for the sake of buzz word or we don't want to ride the higher the train of metaverse the whole idea is to provide value through metaverse to desis who are from the world of uh, india pakistan bangladesh and they can do their physical experience like events like uh, nfts and other experiences in this uh, new space Muhammad Ibrahim, ceo La dc project hello mr Muhammad. Hi, how are you? First of all, thank you for being with us. And would you please tell us more details about the DC project? Yeah, so uh, we are, our product name is called DC was DAO. What we are doing is we are digitizing 8 million stories all the way from India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. And we are transforming them into gaming assets for the Web3 gaming of uh, Metaverse. Mr. Muhammad, when this project will be launched and available for everyone to use? Yeah, so we'll be launching Q3 of this year. Follow our official channels for more updates. And thank you guys for hosting me. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Mr. Muhammad, as a software company, What's your future plans and what's your vision for the future? Yeah, invoices, by the way, are the most commonly used uh, commercial documents. And our aim is through this commercial document, we enable SMEs, we enable businesses, we enable banks to be more profitable, to have more than what they are currently doing through the invoices. So that's our aim to become the Google of invoicing world. As a businessman, what's your advice for anyone who wants to invest and start his own business here in Dubai. Yeah, I think Dubai, uh, I came here 12 years back and that probably was my best decision I ever took in the life because it's a bigger playground. It is almost the center of the world. 
back then it was not the hub of IT, but for last six, seven years with the vision of the rulers, I think it is becoming soon, it is becoming the global hub of the IT. And especially now the metaverse strategies, the blockchain strategies, the AI strategy. Just today the, I saw there is a, a national strategy for AI till 2031. This is not happening. I'm traveling very frequently to other parts of the world. The kind of like environment is enabled here through the different uh, stuff like there are sh- uh, different ecosystem players you need to grow. You need investors, you need support of the government, you need talent to execute the IT, you need the clients to apply the IT. So it's the it's become soon becoming the hub for the emerging technologies. And I would suggest everyone from every corner of the world to explore Dubai, not to not as a tourism hub, not as a like some Middle East country, explore it as a global hub for the IT. At the end, we want to thank you and we need to tell all the people how they can reach and contact with Meitso. Yes, we are having our head office in Fairmont Hotel. Uh, 618 is our office. We are, of course, on website in voicemate.net and voicemate.tech. And uh, we are, of course, Meitso.net is our parent company's uh, website. Thank you very much, Mr. Muhammad, and all the stuff here in Meitso. We hope you the best and the most successful in the future. Thank you very much and thanks for me. إلى هنا أعزائي المشاهدين نختتم حلقتنا لهذا الأسبوع. تابعونا كل جمعة وسبت على قناتكم ABC الخليجية وعلى مواقع التواصل الاجتماعي. دمتم بخير وفي أمان الله.